So, time to get this YouTube channel underway. My name's Nick. Welcome to Nick's Picks. serious um, I'll maybe upload one maybe two videos a month because my job is at six till six at night um, so it's quite a demanding job I've got a lot of time so editing and preparing YouTube videos um, is going to be a weekend thing and I don't want it to take up the whole weekend. So what I'm probably aiming to do is to do less videos but for longer rather than more videos for shorter. Um, I'll probably incorporate um, one or two different locations at a time. Um, let me just see how it goes. If it, if it goes well and I get into the hang of things. I'm not the best on a computer and I'm certainly not the best at editing um, a video. But we'll see how it goes. Um, mainly landscapes, wildlife, um, love long exposure. But um, whatever I'm in the, in the mood for really, I'll, I'll take photos of. Use the K, Pentax K3, no, it's a Pentax K1. Pentax K1 being the full frame camera uh, from Pentax, their first full frame camera, actually. Um, and very long overdue, um, but uh, it's a very nice camera, I, I like it anyway. Um, when I decided to get into photography, I sort of looked at Nikon and Canon. Um, and I'm one of those people that just like something a bit different. So, um, Pentax is a renowned name for lenses, um, so I thought I was onto a winner there. Um, but it turns out that they're not actually one of the one of the bigger brands. You're looking at the Canon and the Nikon, for that matter, are both much bigger than, than Pentax but with the K1 they've definitely brought out a really a really good camera with lots on it you get a lot for your money um, and I haven't got three grand to spend on a Canon 5D Mark 3 or 4 This doesn't pay the mortgage, it's not a job, it is purely a hobby. Um, so hopefully, I'll get some good images with it. I've had a few already, uh, but I've been having an iron about starting this channel. And it's, um, I've got myself um, a little, little action camera, it's not a GoPro, it's a little action camera. Um, I'm going to be using me, um, my phone, my Galaxy S7 Edge, um, and I've 
Occasionally I may use my K3 for a bit of filming, but Pentax is renowned for not being a video camera, so I won't use it very much. Not for this anyway. Uh, the reason I got the both cameras is because the Pentax K1 is quite slow at buffering. So if you're using it, or if you're planning on using it for wildlife, birds in flight, anything that's moving, it's gonna it's gonna soon clog up and start to buffer, and uh, you're gonna miss a lot of shots. Um, and plus, with the crop sensor K3, you get that little bit of extra reach as well. Um, so I feel I've got the best of both worlds. Um, K1 is um, number two in the top ten cameras for dynamic range. Um, and with the tilting screen and all the functions that you get with it, I think it's a very, uh, a very good camera. You do get a lot for your money. 36 megapixel full frame tilt screen. Um, it's got the um, sensor shift on it. Um, it's got star tracers, astro tracer, I should say. Um, so it's a real, real nice bit of kit. And I'm happy with it. So that's all that matters. Um, so yeah. So if you fancy joining me on my travels, on my trips out, I take the dog out every weekend. Go for long walks along the Ridgeway around Swindon. Um, different lakes, um, hopefully get down to the coast later in the year, um, and just stuff like that. Then um, hopefully you can join me and um, join the adventure. Have to go along. If it takes off, gets bigger and better, then maybe I'll look again, bigger and better stuff um, to give you bigger and better content. But for now. me. This is what I've got. 